Hello and welcome back to this week's video. In this week's video, we're finally back on the bank fishing my local lake. So, let's get straight into the video. I've had a few laps around the pond now. It's not a big pond, as you can see, it's probably about an acre in size. And I think the wind is pushing down to me now. So that top end, there's, it's nice and slack, but the sun is out, that's the shallow end, this is the deep end, but it's getting to about three degrees tonight, so it's gonna get cold. So I'm thinking, this corner peg right here, that should do the trick nicely. So I've got my barry set up over here. So I'm going to wander that round all the way to that peg and get some rods in and see what we can get from these spots. So stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to see if this peg treats us well and if we have any nice fish out of here. Uh, this lake stocks with a lot of carp. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, I don't want to say a number and be wrong because I know I'll get digged in the comments. So uh, I'm not too sure exactly how many carp are in this pond but there is a lot and the biggest fish is probably about 22 pounds when it's nice and big uh, there's a big common there's a big linear there's some nice fish in here so let's get this barrow over here and see what we can get So I'm thinking this is the best spot for me, so I'll give you a little show round and tell you my best options to cast to. So I've got a couple options to cast to. I definitely have one rod just on the end of the island there. And then I'm probably thinking somewhere in this margin or straight out in front of me. But I'm not too sure. Or I'm thinking completely somewhat opposite. Because I fished basically every single peg on this lake in the past. So I know the majority of spots that work but it always changes at this lake, it's quite weird. So this is another peg that's an option next to the one that we were just done. And this next one, I know for a fact, like literally one and a half rod, rod, one and a half rod lengths out, there's like a little channel that goes all around the lake. And the fish swim through that, and if they see some bait in that pocket, they will go for it. So I'm thinking here, or even this one here, because this one here has a good margin on the left. If any bit of the margin. I'm really not sure, I cannot decide at all. I'm going to give it a long, hard and think. I've not seen any movement in the lake. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, it's really hard to go off from just my knowledge from old previous fishing sessions, which are usually more in the summer, which I'm in a t shirt right now and I'm pretty hot, but it's going to get to about three degrees, as I mentioned earlier. So, let me decide what we're going to do. Right, so I'm a bit out of breath because I just carried the barrel around from over there and it's impossible on this bank because the wheel which just slides all the time and the barrel just falls and you have to just pick it up. But I am thinking this bag. This wasn't even in the options that I said, but I just watched back a couple of my old videos, uh, get some inspiration around this time of year and I've done well on this peg in the past and I know this peg quite well. I know where the drop-off point is. That island's mega to cast to. It is a bit shallower, but it's nice and slack over here. The sun's out, the fish will be on the feed, and the game be moving about. If it doesn't work, I'll move. But for now, I'm swaying towards this, but I really don't want to do something that I'll regret. But the thing is, no one's at the lake, so if I need to cast a bit further over there across that peg, then I can, as long as I don't cast fur too far so they can get themselves right around the island, it'll be fine, so. So, I just made up this PVA bag. It's got some marazine got marine zest pop up in and it's got some uh, marine zest crushed boilies and pellets and all sorts of stuff and then I'm just making some bait to chuck around it now and I'll show you what that is so if you've never fished this lake before you will not know but this lake absolutely loves sleep and I can see it's very much frozen so far so that's why I couldn't put it in the PVA bag so it would have made it dissolve but what we're going to do to make this little mix a bit better so this is just going to be chucked out over the top of the spot and what we're going to do to make this better is crush up some marines that's boilies in it as you can see there's already a bit of boilies and stuff in it that is from an old session the bucket had a bit of stuff left in it still so i thought may as well use it because it's not gone bad so let's get my marines that's boilies i put a couple full ones in probably two handfuls of that and then i'll do two handfuls of crush
I've got a few pallets here, um, many time pallets. I think I forgot my glove. Maybe I'll that in. Yeah, I think I forgot my glove. But it isn't great. I'm gonna quit break because I just need to get attacked by this swan and then we made friends. So, this is my new friend swan. And he likes to eat my boilies, so I'm hoping if I feed him these boilies now, he won't come and steal them when my bait's in the water. So let's try to get him nice and full. So he definitely likes the marine zest boilies. I'm hoping the cart will like it just as much. All right, so now I've got some marine, marine zest, PV friendly glug, which that's what I was looking for before. Let's get a good amount of that in. And give that a good mix now. Tad a bit more and finish off the bottle. So I'm thinking just a little underarm cast, nice and easy, and getting it on the money, hopefully. So I'm thinking Yeah, that is perfect. Maybe a bit further. Right, rod set and we are just waiting for a bite on that rod now. Uh, and I will get my second rod up now. Second rod is done. So I've got a PVA bag system, but I'm not going to put a PVA bag on. I'm just going for a simple tactic on this lake because that's all you need. And then, that simple, three pieces of corn. I know corn works so well at this lake, so three pieces of corn. Can't really go wrong with some corn spread around it. Let's see how it goes. So, all I have to do next is sort out this absolutely monstrosity of my fishing kit. So, I've got a big mess here, and yeah, so let's sort out my bivvy. I'll do a time lapse now of me setting up my bivvy and everything. So, let's get straight into that. Right, I'm squinting so much here, and that is the swan. Hey! Swimming straight through my line. Nice one, swan. That was the PVA bag one as well. So, he's probably moved the PVA bag, which is always fun. So, uh, I just want to speak about what's going on with Lost and Fishing at the moment. As you've seen, I've not been posting fishing videos at all, really, uh, at the moment. I tried to post some react videos, see how that would go, see how you guys would like it, but you weren't such a fan of it, which I see that and I will go back to my traditional cart fishing videos. I was just trying something as I took a little bit of break from fishing, uh, I, just, I thought I'd try something else new, but I do really enjoy cart fishing still and I do want to get back out on the bank more. Like now I'm on the bank, I'm loving it. I'm sitting here, the sun's bright and currently blinding my eyes and I can't see anything, but I love filming my videos and I love doing everything else and I've got so many big plans for next year. I'll be I'll be 17 in February so I'll be able to drive probably by uh, mid-summer. So hopefully I can get out driving, head over to France, head over to loads of different new places, traveling and... Right, so yeah, I want to do a load of traveling, I want to explore, load of new places, cart fishing. Uh, just traveling in general, I want to do eventually, I want to do just traveling videos and obviously fishing as well. But I want to convert my own camper van, all sorts of stuff like that. So just stay tuned, make sure you go down below, like and subscribe, and uh, just give me a bit of patience. Uh, for I'm working on quite a few stuff in the background now for this channel, uh, and I've got some big plans for next year. So give me some patience at the moment if I'm slacking off a bit, but I'll be back and smashing it very soon. I want, I want to start from now, really, so hopefully. 
you'll see another carp fishing video next weekend and the weekend after so after so i post every weekend it's saturday at 12 pm unless there's some technical difficulties or something like that so yeah if you'd like to support me and help me to hit towards them goals and do even better stuff next year make sure you go down below like subscribe and hit the bell notification button and comment down below what you would like to see me do where you would like me to fish and what you'd like me to fish for because when it's coming i love myself a bit of pipe fishing perch fishing uh, I've got fish tanks still, if you want me to do more fish tank videos I think I'm going to get a new one soon anyway But I've got a whole new fish in my tank anyway Which I'll probably show you me feeding them at the end of this video while I do the antro So stay tuned for that as well But the conditions are perfect for a fish Let's go off that and let's talk about catch some fish The conditions are absolutely perfect I've got hot chocolate brewing right now And the swan again man other than the swan, the conditions are perfect, and that's just the rod settling now because he's not the bait about. Uh, the conditions are perfect, the sun's gone behind the clouds so my eyes are getting a bit of a rest here, thank god. Uh, but yeah, I'm really expecting a fish tonight. Uh, before the night comes I'm expecting a fish, and throughout the night I'm expecting a fish. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to this session and I can't wait to see what it brings. And make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to see what the lake brings me. So. I'm going to sit down, have this hot chocolate now, and I'll keep you posted. Put my Nash slippers on because my shoes are soaked. I really need a new kettle. It's the kettle, not the stove, that takes so long. Just a normal camping kettle, and it takes absolutely ages to boil. The stove's mint. I spent 50 quid on the stove. Just the kettle. Chocolate's finished. Cheers. Right, so as you can see, the swan has still not left me. The sun is going down and it is getting very cold. I think it's going to be about, oh, I've already said this so many times. It's going to be about three degrees tonight and it's already like five and my hands are going numb. So I think I'm going to jump in the sleeping bag uh, and keep you posted if anything happens. I've just had a bit of noodles as well. So if I get a fish, that's when you'll next see me. If not, I'll catch you in the morning, hopefully with a fish in the net. So I'll catch you then. One, go. Right, so it is the next morning and I've just redone my right hand rod because last night at probably about one, maybe two o'clock, my right hand rod was screaming off. So I got out on it nice and fast, started reeling it in and I got probably one rod length out and ping, it pops out the mouth. I was so mad, but I, th I feel like it might have been a bream anyway because when I got to the rod, it wasn't really pulling much. It sounded like it was screaming quite a lot on the alarm but when I got to the rod, it didn't feel that much. So it's either a very small carp or a bream. But I've got marine zest uh, pop up on now with a bit of uh, sweet corn on top and same in the bag, just some mixed boilies with some sweet corn. So let's get this out on a, on a newish spot. So a good scoop of that mixture, let's get it out. Right, so let me get my second rod in and get some fresh bait on that now. Right, so let's get my other rod reeled in and get some fresh bait on that. And I'm not too sure what I've decided to do with that rod yet. I think I'm going to do the same because that's why I had the fish on last night. Or stick to the real sweet corn on the other rod and just get a little PV mesh bag on, which I'm probably going to do. So let's reel it in. Right, so on this rod, same as before, some sweet corn and a little PVA bag, so very simple. And that will do perfectly. And that will do the trick, so I'll keep you posted from now and I'll let you know if anything else happens. Uh, but fingers crossed I have fish soon. I'm still, I've still got probably another, probably gonna still stay till about three o'clock. It's probably about 11 o'clock now. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Uh, well, yeah, I'll keep posted. Right, so we've came to the end of the session and I'm just about to pack up, but as you can see, the conditions aren't very great and it feels like a bit of rain's coming in or it's just a mist. Uh, so, I'm going to pack up everything now, but this isn't the end of the video. I'll jump on to, I'll either go law fishing some point this week, 
to add on to this video or I'll just give you an update on my fish tank and everything that's going on with that so I uh, will see you in a bit. Right so I didn't end up getting back on the bank so I thought I'll give you a little update on my fish tank and tell you what's going on with that so let's flip the camera around and I'll tell you a bit of stuff that's happened to it. Right so as you can see I finally got a light in and there are quite a few more fish. So I've got some cichlids, I can't tell you exactly what type of cichlid they are because I can't really remember. But I know not many fish can go with cichlids but I've got a red tail shark, he's doing fine, I've even got tetra there doing fine. Uh, a few guppies still. And I've got three angelfish, so I've got them two angelfish there and I've got another one up here. And they're all doing fine, no nip fins, nothing because they're all being fed on top of. And there is also a clown loach, but he hides in that hole down there and he only comes out basically at night. So yeah, I've done quite a lot for the, uh, for the fish tank, but I think I'm going to get some more fish soon. So if you'd like to see that, let me know because I haven't got any videos of getting all these new fish. Uh, because the other fish tank videos that I did in the past didn't do too great on the channel. So if you want to see more fish tank videos, because I'm tempted to get another bigger one soon and get some Oscars in it or something. Let me know in the comments down below if this video gets like 150 likes, I will get another fish tank and I'll post some more fish tank videos if you enjoy that as well as my carp fishing videos because I'm getting back on carp fishing more as you've seen in this video. So thanks very much for watching this week's video and we will leave it at that for now and if you want to see a full update on this fish tank, full video with more fish added, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.